So starting really simply with the feet, starting to slowly roll around the ball of the foot and spreading the toes. But I want you to really pay attention to your ankle joint, your foot, and each of the individual toes if you do this. Just noticing how it moves and looking for any areas that are rigid, stuck, or aggressive, or tight. It's moving nice and slow, just starting to create space around the joints. Picking up that same foot and starting to now roll the ankle around the joint. So again, we're looking for a sense of smoothness here. The leg that you're standing on, keep the knee softly bent. So there's a slight bend in the standing knee and just working right around that ankle joint. Now turning it around the other, other way, same foot, just changing directions. Again, you're looking at your ankle and you're looking for a sense of smoothness, like noticing what you can find here, really paying attention. Shake it out. Let's go to the other side, slowly starting to move the ball of the foot around in circular motion, spreading the toes, creating movement into all parts of the foot. Pay attention to how it feels. It's changing direction, moving the other way. When we pay attention to our joints, we are experiencing it for the first time every single time and that is the basics of neuroplasticity picking up the ankle and again making sure you're standing with a soft bent knee start to very slowly move the ankle around the joint and again really notice what you can find about your foot and how it moves be curious about your movement slowly start to take it back the other way super slow circles Great one, of course, to practice balance as well, stabilizing the hip and the knee joint. Let's place one fist in between the knees and moving really, really slowly. Always start ridiculously slow and small, right? We never know how our knees are when we first wake up. This is ideal for moving synovial fluid around the joint and helping longevity into the joints. You'll notice that I'm also getting into my feet, my toes and my ankles, the Achilles. There's a lot that goes on here. You don't have to go super deep for this to happen. Listen to your body. It's like you're riding a bull almost. <laughs> so change fists, change direction. Super slow. Slowly moving in and around the joints. Over time, you'll notice that this gets easier but some mornings you'll wake up and it'll be a completely different story. That's why it's really important to do this with a beginner mind every single time. What can I find? What are you here to teach me today? Be really curious about your body. Let's move into our hips now. Feet are just a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And if you visualize your hips stirring a pot, that's definitely the action we're looking for here. Super slow and like you really are creating a beautiful circle around with those hips. You're moving slow enough so that you can investigate how it feels in your outer hip, your hamstrings, your lower back, and also right into your digestion as well. It's a great one for the morning. Take your time. It's no rush. Let everything be soft. Change direction. So notice if you do this, if you're tensing in your shoulders, your fists, your face, and give yourself permission to just let it go and just really focus on the area that's moving your hips. Again, it's not going to look like how I'm doing it. It's going to look like how you're doing it. It's not an aesthetic practice. It's how it feels in your body. So from here, we are going to stay into the hips a little and stand on one foot, soften the standing leg, and we're just going to take the leg around the joint. So you're watching what's going on with my body here. I'm inhaling to lift up, exhaling, external rotation, inhale, internal rotation, and then coming back through. So we're trying to get an external rotation of the hip joint 
and then match it with an internal rotation of the hip joint as well. Go really slow. Hold onto a wall if you need to, like crawl before you walk. No need to rush this and no need to make it big. You can make it as what you're seeing here, as big or as small as you like. Then we're going to start to take it back the other way. So we reverse the direction of the movement. Just do your best. Not, there's no perfection or anything in this kind of practice. You're just moving to experience and feel. And taking your time as you do. Super slow. Too often we judge or criticize our bodies because we think they don't move well. And if we limit our beliefs with that, then we really inhibit any more movement practice because we think, I can't do that, it's too rigid, just change sides. Or, you know, I can't move like that. But if we come in with that limited thinking, then we're going to stay exactly the same. Things are always awkward and hard when we first start. And that's perfectly natural. But with practice, I promise you it gets easier. And you start to feel more supple, more connected to your body and your mind. So keep this small to start. And then in time, start to go a little bit bigger if that's what feels right for you. Start to change direction. And investigating how this feels. Hold on to the wall if you need. Keeping that standing knee soft. And let yourself fall. Don't forget to breathe. Oh, cool. I was warming up a fair bit by this point. We're going to now move the hips in a really nice, um, I love this pattern. It's like a train wheel. We're going from a posterior tilt to an anterior tilt. And like we're creating a train wheel with our hips. So this is so great for the lumbar spine. So just take your time. Again, monkey see, monkey do with this stuff. Just do your best. So just moving through that sacral area. Fantastic if you experience tight back or lower back. But again, really good for digestion as well. And then we're going to reverse it. <laughs> and the reversing can be really challenging on the mind and the body, of course. But it's, again, so good for our brain. And again, every time we spark a different experience in our mind and have a different thought, we then create a completely different emotion. And that is the grounding of neuroplasticity that's where we create change so still staying into our hips we're going to move our hips around in a bit of a circle almost like a donut shape so if you visualize a pirate ship at a theme park <laughs> your hips are now starting to do that so the shoulders are soft we actually find a bend into the knees here as well and we're really just going sort of side to side experiencing creating a bit of a donut shape in our hips and then change sides. So as you're doing this, don't forget to breathe. Try to soften the rest of your body. And just really lean in. Do what you can. Alright. So coming up now, we're going to just take this now through the sternum and the upper back. So we want to press the heart space forward. And then draw back as we're moving through this one. So heart comes forward and then you're rounding the upper back. The shoulders really want to take over here. I want you to do your best to try and disengage your shoulders. And just think of this as your upper chest and your upper back. And then just keep moving and breathing and doing your best with this. So this is really effective when you look in a mirror and you can see if your shoulders are wanting to come up here as well. So really trying to just use that sternum. So same part of the body, the hips stay relatively still and we're going to slide across side to side. Um, it's like a shifting and a transferring of the rib cage. Again, a mirror is super effective here and you can actually see what's going on with the shoulders. A fantastic one I've found for digestion as well. So combining the two of those now, we're going to start to move backwards to the side, forward and around, and visualize yourself stirring a pot. This feels amazing. So enjoy. Don't worry what it looks like. Just come into the feels. 
Just breathing and moving. That's it. And then change directions. So we've just combined those last two movements. So press forward with the sternum, over to the side laterally, pull back, and then over to the side. So there's not much movement now into the hips, more focusing on working right through the torso. This is fantastic for opening the breath and the chest, especially if you're at a desk. Talking of that, let's now really start to work into our breath, a closing and an opening. So as you close, exhale. As you inhale, open the chest. So fingers spread really nice and wide as you do this. Yeah, and just, again, make this as big or as little as you like. It is completely up to you. And you'll find this delicious movement in and around the body, into your breath, your lungs. Oh, definitely was warming up by this point. <laughs> so let's just do a little bit of movement through the shoulder. So I'm just doing a gentle internal and an external rotation into the shoulder joint, both sides. Really easy for the traps to want to take over here. So again, it's a minimal movement, but just trying to segment. And lastly, we're going to come into some figure eight swings. So again, monkey see, monkey do, just creating a figure of eight with one arm coming forward. The pace is completely up to you, of course, as well. And then we're going to take it backwards again, playing a little bit with the brain, but just do your best. Trying to open the chest and the heart. Beautiful. Let's change sides coming forward. Start slow. Listen to your shoulder. What's going on with your shoulder today? What do you need? And then start to take it backward. Again, opening into the shoulder joint. And it really opens up into the heart and the chest as well. Gets right into the finger joints as well. Whew. Cool, I think there's one more in the sequence. We're going to finish off with a little bit of a spinal roll. So slowly just allowing yourself to roll through. There's a little tutorial onto this one um, that I will post up just to work through the movement to get yourself more familiar with these spinal rolls going forward and backward. So just have fun with it. Don't worry what it looks like. It doesn't have to be big, it can be really small as well, depending on how your body feels in this moment today. And then let's reverse it. So we go nose, chin, chest, belly, pubic bone, and around. Super slow. This feels amazing and our spines love this. Beautiful, really feeling your breath, feel everything move in your body. Lastly, let's just jump it out. So a little bit of movement, let everything be soft and shake right in the fingers, the head, do what you need to do here, give yourself a smile, let it feel good. Really pump that um, the blood through the body, lift up your hands if that feels good, and a really nice opportunity to practice some gratitude. You are now here. Enjoy your day. Thank you again.